five and a half hours into watching the extended edition of The Lord of the Rings, Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn kicks a helmet and breaks two of his toes. By this point in the movie, the average TV has used 0.5 kilowatt hours of energy. But what does that actually mean? Let's talk about it like we're in Lord of the Rings. So one kilowatt hour is an amount of energy. It's kind of like how 10,000 is the amount of Uruk High it took to lose the Battle of Helm's Deep. Hold that out. The kilowatt part of the word means power. It's like the rate at which you're using energy. It's like how you can fit five Uruk High shield guys across this bridge at one time. So it would have a power of five Uruk Hai. And the hour part is how many hours it would take all those orcs to run across that bridge until Helm's Deep is filled with 10,000 orcs. So a kilowatt hour is an amount measured in power over time. Let's say Sauron wants to forge Ring of Power in the fires of Mount Doom. Yeah, big deal, big deal. If he can give out 10 kilowatts of power and it takes him an hour to make the one ring, he will have used 10 kilowatt hours of energy to make this ring. What happens if I put this on? <laughs> So when Sauron made three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, in the darkness, find them. <laughs> That's 20 rings. That's 20 rings. If Sauron spent 20 hours at 10 kilowatts of power making 20 rings, that'd be 200 kilowatt hours of energy he used. I'm not doing that again.